A spike drink sends a teacher to the hospital. Parents say a student put an unknown substance into a fourth grade teacher's coffee cup. And this is the second concerning incident at that particular elementary school in Randolph in just the past few weeks. Good afternoon to you. Good evening to you. I'm David Wade. And I'm Lisa Hughes. WBZ's Tammy Mutasa spoke to parents about their safety concerns. And she joins us now live with the latest from Randolph. Tammy? David and Lisa, I talked to parents on social media, over the phone, and in person. They are very concerned for their children, and they're asking why these worrisome incidents are happening at an elementary school. It's like, you know, shooting fish in a barrel. You know, I feel like the barrel is the school, and my child is the fish, you know? Am I sending her into a situation where I'm dooming her to be at a location where an incident could occur. The frustration is intensifying for parents at Donovan Elementary after a series of disturbing incidents. People are afraid of what they don't know. And right now, that's where we're at. So you're wondering like when the next ball might drop. The latest concern, school leaders say a teacher was taken to the hospital as a precaution after finding an unknown substance in their coffee cup. Parents tell us it was a fourth grader with some kind of a pill. It can be extremely scary. This comes just weeks after several shell casings were found in the same classroom. The Quinn's fourth grade daughter's class is across the hall. They kept her from school with the shell casing incident. It's almost taking away from her innocence as a child and her feeling safe in school having to have new protocols that we're teaching at home trying to keep her safe. Parents sent WBZ a letter they got from the principal saying we realize this has been a challenging month and we appreciate your continued support as we deal with the behaviors and decisions of a few students in one grade. The principal went on to say an investigation found that five students were involved with the empty shell casings and threatening letters at school. But parents say the communication hasn't been consistent. Everyone's voicing their concerns and it's like well, well what are we going to do and it's like well, you know, we call, you email, and you don't get anything back from that, and it's like, well, that's not enough. Parents want a meeting with administrators to get answers on what's next to keep students safe. We should be allowed to ask our questions, you know, and, and see what they have to say at this point, because nothing's changing. I reached out to the superintendent and the principal. I'm still waiting to hear back. Live in Randolph, Tammy Mutasa, WBZ News. Tammy, thank you.